Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah and let's start with local stocks as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,274.10 points, marking an increase of 0.16 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the investment sectors and investors traded mainly in the investment sectors with 0.30% of total shares, 114 transactions included uh, 5,790,767 shares worth 1,347,078 Bahraini dinars. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza received Renewable Energy Managing Director Jalil Khalil, who briefed him on the projects and activities carried out by the company in Bahrain. The meeting included fruitful discussions in the field of air conditioning efficiency, saving, and rationalization techniques. Moreover, the minister hailed cooperation with the local international companies that offer the best technologies in the fields of renewable energy and rationalization of consumption. Bahrain listed Invest Corp aims to invest in companies that support uh, oil giant Saudi Aramco and is also eyeing healthcare and education assets being sold in Saudi Arabia's privatization drive. The private equity and alternative asset firm, which has offices around the world, aims to multiply its investments to 50 billion US dollars in five years by expanding existing businesses and through acquisitions in areas such as infrastructure. The firm is eyeing businesses that live around Aramco, such as chemical companies, and could consider buying Aramco assets that sold off after its planned listing in 2018. Riyadh plans to sell off 5% of Aramco in initial public offering, raising offers about 100 billion US dollars to invest in industries outside the oil sector, part of the Kingdom's Vision 2030 that aims to wean the nation off reliance on oil. And now to Dubai, as Dubai's smart government has announced it's launching the new smart service that will enable payment for fuel from the Emirates National Oil Company service stations through smartphones. When launched, the service will add a new addition to Dubai's smart range of services, covering more than 55 services from 24 governmental, semi-governmental and private entities in a unified application. This move comes in the context of the provision of smart services and payment options that can be used at any time and place through smart devices. Following the success of application of Dubai Now, launched by the Dubai Government Foundation Smart, within the vision of transforming Dubai in the smartest city in the world. China's third-party mobile payment market has continued rapid expansion as cashless transactions gain increasing popularity in the country. In the second quarter of 2017, third-party uh, mobile payment transactions amounted to more than 23 trillion won, about 3.46 trillion U.S. dollars, up 22.50 percent from the previous quarter, according to a latest report released by the Beijing-based marketing consultancy firm Analysis International. The report attributed the robust growth to increasing e-commerce transactions and other financial trading activities like the purchase of wealth management service. Brazilian police arrested today the head of the National Olympics Committee, Carlos Arthur, who is accused of considering and conspiring of bribes members of the International Olympic Committee to pick up the Rio de Janeiro as host of 2016 Games. Brazilian investigators claim that Carlos helped arrange a 2 billion and million U.S. dollars bribe to get the games for Rio de Janeiro. The police said Leonardo Greener, a former director of the National Olympics Committee, was also arrested in the new phase of so-called unfair play investigation. In September, police raided Carlos's home, accusing him of conspiring with politicians to buy the right to host the 2016 games. Carlos's lawyer said then that his client was innocent. European Competition Commissioner Margaret Vesteyer said today that EU executive was taken Ireland to the European Court of Justice for its failure to recover up to 13 billion euros of tax due from Apple Incorporation. The commission ordered the U.S. technology giant in August 2016 to pay the unpaid taxes. As it ruled, the firm has received illegal state aid, one of the number of deals that EU has targeted between multinationals and unusual small EU states. 
Until the amount is recovered, uh, the company continues to benefit from the illegal advantage Apple as appealing the case, arguing that the revenues in question are subject to U.S. tax rules. Ireland faces criticism from bigger EU states that they are draining off tax revenues and blocks governments are negotiating reforms. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading.